Hey guys, it's Ozzy at Vertigreen in Montclair, New Jersey, and I'm here to show you a quick tutorial on a, um, a rustic finish that we're doing for a client. So this is her dining room chair. It was a really dark, glossy, mahogany stain, and we first painted it with the color cream, uh, Annie Sloan chalk paint, and then we um, did not wax it. Typically, we would wax prior to dark waxing with the clear, but we didn't. You can hear how matte and dry and absorbent this is. So this is uh, two coats of cream which has dried and we are going to make a glaze with the dark wax. So we used a tablespoon of the dark wax and a splash of odorless mineral spirits and um, my glaze is in here. So it's essentially just loosening the dark wax slightly to make it a little bit easier to apply and to wipe off. But it's not because of the convenience that I make it this way. It's more because it's going to rest heavy in every single brush stroke on this and really create a nice rustic look. So this part is a little scary. We're applying it directly to the cream. It looks very dark. Um, and not at all like what the client would have wanted, but you have to trust in this step. So I'm just brushing it right on, and then obviously you would do you know the whole section. And then I'm gonna take one of my blue shop towels. These are the lint-free towels we use to remove the wax. And I'm just gonna wipe off the excess uh, dark wax glaze here. So you can see how dark that made the um, the finish here. Now, she doesn't want it this dark. She wants it lighter. So it's dry now. And I'm going to dip my clean shop towel into Annie's clear wax. So I'm gonna take like a dime sized um, portion of wax here. And I'm just going to lightly rub it in to my clear wax glaze to loosen it like so. See how it's starting to lighten there? And then I'm gonna get a fresh place of my towel and wipe it back. And you can see how it is nice and light here versus where it's much darker down here. So this is what I would do to the entirety of the chair to get this finished. And I'm gonna bring the camera closer so you can see what that looks like. It's a really beautiful look, so it's complete um, and other parts of the chair. I'm going to see if you can see what that's going to look like when it's done. It's really pretty. There you have it. I hope this was helpful. Love where you live and shop local. Thanks for watching, guys.